friends, welcome back to Halloween Recipe Series. Welcome back. Nice to see you and it is my pleasure to have you here. Today's recipe to make Halloween Skull Series Recipes. Hope you like it. This mushroom skull recipe is not difficult to make as even I can carve it out easily. Carved mushrooms can be used in many different recipes. Today I will share how to roast them and tomorrow I will share another recipe. Don't miss it. Mushrooms are rich in vitamin C, which can effectively treat scurvy and supplement the body's daily needs for vitamin C. Ingredients are mushrooms. Doesn't it looks good as this is the carved mushrooms? But in mushroom cut half. But in mushroom stem cut evenly. Poke three holes with chopsticks. Then use a hard straw to slowly drill a hole. Remember not to use too much force at once, or the mushroom will break easily. Drawn fine line at mushroom stem. Mushroom skull is done looks good right? You may use chopstick to replace straw by slowly dig the hole. It looks as good as result with using straw too. Cover baking pan with baking paper and brush with olive oil. Arrange mushrooms nicely. Seasoning, olive oil, grind black pepper, one teaspoons garlic salt, one teaspoons Cajun powder. Roast for 15 minutes at 160 degrees. Roasted mushroom is done. Smells so good. Doesn't it looks like real skulls? White mushrooms looks much alike real skulls and it is also less likely to break when digging holes. For this recipe, you can prepare the mushrooms in advance and bake them in the oven 20 minutes before eating. Mushrooms can be fried with Chinese cabbage, but not with eggplant, as this will cause poisoning. When blanching mushrooms, add garlic. If the garlic changes color, it is poisonous and cannot be eaten. Also, mushrooms should never be eaten with millet or rhubarb rice, as this will produce a toxin that cannot be cured in the hospital and can have serious consequences. By the way, if you are looking for spooky Halloween food recipes ideas, welcome to check out my Halloween recipe playlist as I will also upload new recipe from time to time too. Although the purine content of mushrooms is far lower than that of offal, seafood, and meat, it is indeed higher than that of ordinary vegetables. 
Patients with high uric acid and poorly controlled gout should still pay attention to the amount they eat. They should not overeat without restraint because mushrooms are low in calories. They are also not suitable for drinking cooked meat, seafood, mushrooms, etc., which contain dissolved lots of purin soup. In addition, many mushrooms have high potassium content and are not suitable for patients with kidney disease. Patients with high uric acid, poorly controlled gout, and kidney disease should limit their consumption of mushrooms. If you have poor gastrointestinal motility, peptic ulcer, or have undergone radioactive treatment of the abdomen or pelvis, or have intestinal stenosis, eating a large amount of dietary fiber foods may cause flatulence, intestinal discomfort, or even intestinal obstruction. It is recommended to eat a small amount you may consult a physician or nutritionist before consuming. It is recommended not to buy too much at one time, and do not wash the mushrooms first after buying them home. It is recommended to pack them in fresh keeping boxes or bags and refrigerate them in the refrigerator to slow down the maturation of the mushrooms. Before cooking, just rinse it lightly with water and eat it as soon as possible to prevent it from going rancid. Since mushrooms contain a lot of crude fiber, the way they are cut before cooking will directly affect the taste of mushrooms with thick stems and long fibers, such as king oyster mushrooms. If you want it to taste smooth and tender, you can cut it into thin slices along the fiber. If you want it to taste bouncy and chewy, you can cut it into hob pieces, but this cutting method is not suitable for people with bad teeth and poor chewing power. Welcome to subscribe my channel and save this recipe so you may refer back when you need this recipe. There are three thousands of delicious recipes on my YouTube, check it out for more delicious recipes ya. Yeah. I will upload bilingual video recipes every day. Chinese video will be uploaded at noon while English version at 8.30 pm welcome to follow and save recipes you like. Remember to follow my channel so you will be able to find me when you need cooking inspiration. I share delicious recipes every day so don't miss it. Thanks for watching. See you in next video ya. Yeah.